Hey everyone, welcome back. So now we have set up our uh, rest assured project, right? And we have imported the libraries through the Maven dependencies. Now uh, let's start using uh, the rest assured API to create some tests, right? So I have gone to the source test Java. Uh, here I'll be creating a new class where I can write my tests. So uh, let me name it something, right? So uh, I'll be using this uh, sample API. It does not require any authentication. Uh, when you go to this URL, you get uh, this price of the Bitcoin, right? In um, different currencies. Okay, so um, that's the API I'm going to use to perform, to write some tests here. Now, in this class, I can use the test annotation from the JUnit to create my uh, method test methods which I can execute directly, okay? So I will say public void um, verify status code is 200. Right, so this is my first test and we'll be writing our test here, okay? So um, let's now use some of the methods from the um, rest assured API. So our first kind of method is the given and you need to import the package here. Once it's imported, now you can use all the methods of uh, the io.restassured, right? Library. So uh, let me first write this simple test and then I will explain you what is going on here. So we will get the URL here and then Okay, so now let me grab the URL and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so um, this is a one line test, right? Which can perform, um, which can perform a validation on your API request, right? Whether the status code of your API request is 200. Right. So once you get uh, verify the status code, you can be sure that your API request is working fine. Like so, when you uh, send a particular request to the server, it re it responds with a 200 or uh, the status description is okay, right? So this is a very basic test which uh, you you can perform with any API. Uh, any API request or any REST API, right? Uh, just to make sure that your API is up and running uh, and you are able to connect to the server, right? Now, uh, coming to the REST I showed, uh, the DSL, as I ex explained earlier, it uses the BDD methods, right? So here you see it's in the format of given, when, then, right? So what, what does it mean? So in given, you can specify all the conditions, preconditions which are required for the API request, right? So it can be query parameters, it can be path parameters, right? So some parameters which you need to pass in order to uh, connect to the particular API request. Okay, now coming to next is when. So um, like given these conditions and now when you are performing a particular action. So here I am doing a get URL. So basically it will, um, this is the API request URL. So it will send this request URL to the server, right? And then um, it will get the status code and verify whether it is 200 or not. So that's a complete test, right? Uh, we are giving the conditions, we are performing an action, and then we are validating uh, the response of your API request. So these are, uh, this is how you form a chain of, chain of methods to uh, validate your API request. Right. So it's very simple uh, to use and it's very simple to understand if I'm looking at a particular test, it's saying verify status code is 200. So I'm saying given this, uh, when I do this and then um, this status code should be 200. Right. So pretty simple, plain English like format, but it is performing the job. Right. So that's what uh, the rest of show DSL provides you. 
or the rest assured library provides you a easy way of writing tests through which you can validate your api request okay so uh, let's go ahead and execute this and once it executes uh, you won't be able to see anything here because we are directly validating our um, api request right so uh, we are not printing any any body or uh, any status code here we are directly validating it so basically it will show you a pass sign right uh, after it executes right so as you can see um, the test has passed okay now uh, let's try to write this same test in a different way, right? Um, so I will say public void get status code, right? So here I'll be printing my status code um, and we'll be using almost the same thing, but then um, we will store this status code inside a variable, right? So let me create a variable here and then i will store the status code here and here you need to change you need to use the get status code right so this will return you the status code of your api request and it will store it here uh, now i can easily print this just to make sure that i am looking at the right uh, response status code so i'll say status code is and then i will print the status code here and then i will write a assert right you can use the j j unit assert here and i can say um, status code right uh, equals to 200 okay so uh, this is my condition and I'm also printing the status code here so we can see what's the actual status code of this API request okay so let's go ahead and execute this Okay, so um, as you can see, our test has passed and also it is printing the status code, which is 200. So now you can see what is the status code of this API request, right? Now, if, um, now um, I'm getting the status code, but if I want to see the body of the response, right? Uh, so this is the response body, as you can see here, it is printing um, the body in the form of the different um, Bitcoin price for different EU, different currencies, right? So I want to uh, see whether it is printing the same body or not, or I'm able to get that body from the API request, right? So we, will, we can do that. So let's see public void get response body. And then uh, we can say, okay, so we will say given when get and we'll again put the same URL here. And here again, we can use another method of the rest assured where you can say then dot log, right? So it will log the base, basically the body okay so now if i run this you can see the complete body of response body printed in our console right okay so let me expand this and you can see the same uh, response body which we saw in our browser, right? So complete response body is printed here. So 
you have got similar methods, very similar um, useful methods which are provided by the rest is showed, uh, for which you can perform a lot of different things, right? So we'll see these, um, uh, we'll continue exploring more uh, different methods which are provided in REST is showed uh, in order to validate and verify our REST APIs. So um, that's all for this video. Uh, we'll continue um, looking more into the REST is showed API, uh, API in the next videos. I hope you like this video. And if you have any, any questions, please leave it in the comments and keep watching. Thanks.